Today in this video, we will learn how to connect timer switch with photocell. You may know about this timer switch and according to program we set, load turns on and off. If you want the load to turn on before the program time in darkness, then photocell is required in this connection. If I completely hide this photocell, then you can see load gets turned on automatically. On removing my hand to let the cell sense brightness, then you can see soon the load gets turned off automatically. So we are going to connect this timer with photocell. Let's begin. This digital timer which I have now is manufactured by CNC company. You can see the model number here. For programming in this timer, total 7 buttons are provided. Use these buttons for programming. We will learn to set this programming later. For the display to remain on in this timer and to save the programming, a battery is provided inside this timer. You need to insert a battery like this. This is required to save the programming which you will do. If I remove this battery from this timer, you can't see any display over here. On again inserting battery, display will work. One thing is important that when I remove battery from the timer and on again connecting the battery, Previous programming and time will be lost. You can see time as 0 hour 0 minute that is 12 midnight. So again programming needs to be done. You also must have noticed two terminals are provided for input power supply. I am using two wires for input power supply. I am connecting phase supply at L terminal and neutral supply at N terminal. Now at these two terminals load will be connected and I am using a lamp as load. To provide power supply to this lamp, I am connecting phase supply wire at L terminal and neutral supply wire at N terminal. Connection will be done in this manner. If you want to turn on and off the load with the help of timer, then only this much connection is required. Now let us understand how programming is done in this timer and afterwards I will explain the connection of this photocell. In this display, you can see this lock symbol. If this lock symbol is displaying on screen, then other buttons provided won't work. So first press this button 4 times. You can see symbol is gone now. To set the time in this timer, first select day. I selected Wednesday as today is Wednesday. Right now, time is more than 7 pm. So set hour meter to 19. I am setting this minute to 15 as time right now is evening 7.15. If you want to program time in this timer, simply press setup button. Then you will see as one on on screen. Means first programming is to on the load. Total 16 programming can be done in this timer to turn on and off the load. Let's go with first programming. I am selecting R meter and set to 19 and suppose on 720 I need to turn on the load so the load will turn on at 720 now on which days this program time needs to be saved can also be done with this button I only need this program time for Wednesday so I am selecting Wednesday again press the setup button now programming to turn off the load is required when I press R button it shows 720 pm I need load to turn off at 21. Now when I again press setup button, it will ask for second programming. Press clock button to exit. Time right now is already 7.20 pm. So I change this to 7.21 pm to turn on load and 7.22 pm to turn off the load. You just saw that on 7.21 pm, this load is turned on. Along with this, you can see two indications are glowing. This power indication will glow when phase supply and neutral supply is on. When output command is generated, this output indication will glow. You will see on 7.22 pm, the load will turn off automatically. You just saw that on 7.22 pm, our load turned off automatically. Now if you want to connect photocell with this timer so that load will turn on before completing the program time in darkness, this photocell is required here. What happened with photocell is 
when it sends no light then it generates output command and this command can be used to turn on the load in this photo cell total three wires are provided this red and black wire are for phase and neutral supply respectively i will connect this red wire at l terminal and black wire at neutral terminal now this yellow wire must be connected with phase wire of load or you can say loop with phase wire so when output command is generated the supply will reach to this point connection of this photo cell is also completed with the help of this timer how load gets turned on and off is already explained in this timer switch one more button is given that is auto manual on pressing this button you can turn on the load and on again pressing this button you can turn off the load suppose your load won't turn on by this timer that is load needs to be turned on before program time then your photo cell will turn on the load if i hide this photo cell to provide darkness you just saw load turned on automatically when this photo cell again sends the light or brightness then load will turn off automatically you just saw load is turned off friends i hope you learned something new in this video thanks for watching this video